Patrick Peters, Professor of Architecture and Director of the University of Houston Graduate Design Build Studio. This project is the 21st project of the University of Houston Graduate Design Build Studio. It's the design and construction of a tensile fabric amphitheater for T.H. Rogers School. Hodges, uh, and I'm uh, at the end of the first year of the graduate education at uh, UH College of Architecture, um, where we're in the process of uh, actually physically building a structure uh, that we've designed and met with clients, uh, and uh, really, you know, this is uh, this is the type of hands-on learning experience that I was looking for when I came to U of H, and uh, I think it makes a big difference uh, to actually be able to. Um, to see each step of the process and, and again, to kind of get your, your hands dirty uh, in the fabrication process. Uh, you, you learn at a whole other level than if you're just reading about it in a textbook uh, or hearing about other people doing this kind of thing. We probably should get a couple extras. Oh yeah, those, uh, uh, I guess they're going to give us everything. Hello, my name is Zach Copeland. Um, I'm a first year architecture student in the grad program here at U of H. Um, and I think what the, the design build studio means to me is it kind of gives you a chance um, as a learning student to kind of to do the things um, that architecture requires. Um, instead of just drawing um, lines in a page or, or doing a, um, a drawing in a computer, you're actually going out and, and doing it. Um, and I think that's kind of what's, what's valuable in this situation. Um, we actually get to put our hands on the, the steel um, and actually um, make, our, make our architecture. Yeah. Uh, this is a rendered image of our project, um, basically a, a, a tensile roof structure for an elementary school uh, that will be used as an amphitheater and outdoor classroom. Um, and this is uh, something that we, we've done in the computer and, and hopefully uh, this turns out to be close to what actually happens in real life.